Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video Eager learners Today we are delving into Hacking Face Your go-to platform for natural language processing models and tools Follow along as we demystify the basics Empowering you to leverage the power of Hacking Face for your NLP projects So guys, let's get started so before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, the first thing that you should do of course is to go ahead and open HuggingFace.co. Now first of all, what is this tool and how can it help us exactly? So how can we use it and what are the uses of it? Well first of all, Hugging Face is a platform that is made for as a solution for computing science so it can give you easier ways to fix your problems in computer science to have better solutions for your task etc but this one is pretty advanced because it uses machine learning so this interface guys as you can see right here is showing a lot of useful tasks that this platform can do for us as an example it can turn a text to an image or all the way around an image to text this is for multimedia text to video visual question answering documents question answering and graph machine learning there is also computer vision depth estimation image classification object detection image segmentation image to image are uh, uh, unconditional image generation uh, video classification and zero shot image classification this is for the computer vision now what about the natural language processing it can have a text classification talking classification table question answering question answering zero shot classification translation, summarization, uh, conversation, uh, text generation, text to text generation, and uh, sentence similarity. For audio, it can give you a lot of things. Text to speech, automatic speech, recognition, audio to audio, audio classification, and voice activity detection. For Tabular, there is tabular classification, tabular regression, and finally reinforcement learning, there is robotics, reinforcement learning, and so much more. Now, how can we start using this application exactly? Well, first of all, you have to sign up. Well, when you try to sign up, you have to put here your email and give them a password. So let's do that real quick. So let's do this. Um, here we go and click on next save and then here we have to fulfill these informations so here simply just give a username here um let's give for example this one here uh, optional 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 i have read and let's give it something like something like that create account okay it shouldn't have stuff like that and there we go so let's confirm you are a human Complete the security check before you continue in. So let's click on begin. Let's confirm you are a human. Choose all the hats. So this is a hat, this is the hat, this is a hat, and this is a hat. Now let's click on next. This is a hat, right? I don't know. Maybe a mistake. Maybe it's no. Yeah, I'm correct. So there we go. Now we have opened it successfully. So to use it first, we have to get the pricings because it has so many different kind of pricings and features depending on the plan that we are going to have there is the have fun hub so this one is basically or uh, the hugging face hu hub so this one is basically it has hosts unlimited models data sets and spaces create limited organizations and private repos access the latest ml tools uh, which is machine learning and open source and of course community support now for the pro account which has uh, better features and it costs around nine dollars per month this one will give you a get a pro badge on your profile 
early access to upcoming features, dataset viewer for private datasets, and unlock in, uh, in references for pros. So you can check that the differences between the pro and the Hugging Face Hub, not they are not that big or that huge on far features. They are basically just a badge and couple of things that uh, might be better for some people. Now there is also this space hardware where they are going to upgrade your space computer for zero dollar per hour. They give you free CPUs, build more advanced spaces, seven optimized hardware available from CPU to GPU to accelerators. This is the, uh, the inference endpoints. They will give you deploy dedicated endpoints in seconds, uh, keep your cost low, fully managed auto scaling, and enterprise security. This one will start with 0 0.032 cents. So here we have finally the enterprise hub, which can be the most expensive one. So it is starting at twenty dollar per month. It has its own and SML support, select data location and storage regions, precise actions reviews with audit logs, uh, granular access control with resource groups, dataset viewer for private datasets, advanced compute options for spaces, deploy inference on your own infra, manage billing with year comments and priority support. So you have all of these in your enterprise hub with only $20. Now the solutions also you can find them right here depending on what kind of domain you are working on. Here you can find the spaces, here you can find the data sets and here you can find the models. For example here we have the Apple OpenLAN 3B Instruct. We have here Jarvis, we have here a lot of things so you can find literally what you're looking for as you wish. So let's search for something as an example. Um, so here I'm going to go for example to uh, models and let's go to models and let's find image to or speech to image so or speech to text um, text to audio or text to speech yeah this is what I meant I mean. So here we have a lot a lot I mean a lot of machine learning tests. So we can go for example for Microsoft speech test and here we can find the model and how much it's got download, the API if you want to have API, uh, if you want to test even like the, the thing you can write here hello and you can simply click on compute and it can give you the model is learning uh, is loading and it might even give you the solution so let's wait a little bit and it might give you what you are looking for so let's wait uh, and define this model can be loaded on interface api serverless so i think we had to use it on another platform maybe but yeah you could test it here in case you want it here they are face the the files and everything an explanation on how you can use it with the code and everything in detail so yeah guys that was it for hugging face i hope you enjoyed it and see you guys in the next tutorial